hello again my lovelies and welcome back to another video i know i've been a bit mia but i am here and i am back i know you might be wondering what i've been up to so guess what i'm giving you a weekly vlog so in this video you'll be coming along with me to work on the road while i'm shopping and also while i'm at the supermarket i also added in a little grocery haul to compare the prices of food here in the uk to that that i'm accustomed to in jamaica so i hope you'll enjoy the video if you do feel free to like subscribe and share with a friend morning i kind of look like i just wake up but that's not the case because i've been up from six o'clock and it's now like five minutes to eight um but yeah i just left home you hear the birds? Right, I'm heading to the site hospital today. It's, it's basically um, a different branch of my hospital than where I'm working. So this requires me taking a bus, but so I'm walking like three minutes to the bus station to get a bus to get there. That one would have been my bus, but I'm not going to take it because it comes off like five minutes from my exact location so i'm gonna wait on so that was a 510 i'm gonna wait on the 508 this empty time cold it's supposed to be spring but <laughs> it's freezing it's not springing at all <laughs> but my bus supposed to come at 8 8 7 and i'm pretty early because it's still minutes to eight so we're just chilling literally because it's cold out here So routinely at the end of every workday, you wipe down your machine, you wipe down all the surfaces you were in contact with, you know, make the place clean and fresh and ready for the following day. So this is what I'm doing. The particular machine I'm wiping down is used to do spinal x-rays. So we do full spine x-rays on this machine and it is done in one go. Now I'm taking the erect bucket down to my level where I can wipe it. This is where we do chest x-rays, C-spine slash neck x-rays. You know, we do some standing knee x-rays as well with this machine. So this is a table bucket and what I absolutely adore about this entire unit is that it is digital. <laughs> Not just digital, but it makes work so much easier in, in the case where you can just press a button and the machine positions itself and angles everything on its own but yeah this is the end of another day and i'm finished wiping down the room is entirely clean and we are done i'm getting the, i'm getting to start the <laughs> can I walk off to the side so you can get a side view? So it's finally the weekend and I'm gonna run, go on the road to run some errands. This is what I'm wearing. Oh, there is good today. At least it looks as if it's good. So yeah, heading to the supermarket. I'm going to the bank. And guess what? You're coming with me. Yay! So the first point is finished. Oh yeah, it's raining. So I finished at the bank. So now I'm heading to...
I know it rains regularly or basically every day here, but this is the heaviest I've seen it rain since I've been here. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. I know it. Tell me you're not accustomed to being here without telling me you're not accustomed to being here. Listen to me, I was the only one with an umbrella. Everybody else walking in the rain. Nothing covering them head. Everybody just walking easy cheesy lemon breezy. Now I'm at Asda and I shop at Tesco, Asda and sometimes at Aldi. So to get a trolley, all you have to do is put a pound in, sink it in and you're good to go. When you're finished, you retrieve your pound and you put the trolley back. just now I was just in the mood to just get a snack and relax a bit and that is exactly what I did so now I've got my rest and it's time to unpack so here is everything that I bought today and I don't know if you can guess but take a shot and just guess and let me know in the comment section what you think or how much you think I paid for these fruits and vegetables as a matter of fact, um, let me just say, the reason why I bought only fruits and vegetables, well, I bought a snack, and I look a sweet of sweet of, you know, but the only reason why I bought these is because since lately, I've been doing more juicing, so I'm juicing fruits and vegetables, you know, just to filter out the body, give the body a little reset, you know, I'm in that little phase, and yeah, so this is all I got. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. So I bought two pineapples, big enough size. Um, yeah, so two pineapples. I bought two packs of grapes, uh, two cantaloupes to snack on. The pineapples I'll be using to juice. The cantaloupes I'm going to be snacking. You know, when you want something hard, because it's mostly juicing, that's what we're we'll doing. So now it's a little hardness, like eating food. It's nutritious, just the same. I'm having cantaloupes. You know, just bought Pringles. <laughs> and you know, I bought the Pringles as a backup, because you're healthy and all, but you might want a little munching here and there. You know how we go. So that's that. I 
about sanitary napkins. Um, these are honey roasted peanuts. Shouldn't have gotten honey roasted, but I did. End of statement. Done. <laughs> um, three packs of beetroot. And is what? Oh, different numbers in each pack. But yeah. Three packs of beetroot. Three cucumbers. Three cucumbers. Cucumber. Cucumber. Three cucumbers. Cucumber. Cucumber. Three cucumber. <laughs> so three cucumbers. A bag of ginger. A bag of apples. Red apples. And a bag of green apples. And two bags of carrots. Once again, you know how it is. You know, when you want a little munching here, you need options. So this is salty and this is sweet. <laughs> so I bought two um, raisin something. Yeah, they're delicious though. So I bought two of these. And this is everything I bought at the grocery store. As I said, comment and let me know how much you think I spent because I'll be telling you exactly how much it is. Um, I don't have to ask any questions, but in Jamaica, if I'm buying a pineapple, this is almost total dollar. No joke. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not still enough as downtown. Downtown have cheap pineapple. But anyways, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys the receipt. I'm going to run and find it and let you guys see it. But, ta So, I hope you commented and you give your guess. So now it's a moment of truth. So, drum roll, please. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm doing like that. Anyways, but yes. So, so for all of this that I bought, I paid twenty-five pounds and forty-two cents. Yes. So this that's what I paid for for these. Is it reasonable? Hmm. I'm not sure. To me it is, but as I said before, I don't know how much prices have changed because I just got here. But persons who are here and been living for a while, they might have a different opinion. But for me, I think it's reasonable because when I'm comparing it to what I would have normally paid in Jamaica, it would have been way more. So yeah, this is £25 worth of groceries so this takes us to the end of another video and i just want to tell you thanks for watching i really appreciate the love remember to like subscribe and share also for the next vlog that i'll be doing the next weekly vlog includes a more in-depth view of what i do at work on a daily basis so remember to subscribe and look out for that one bye bye